All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation five to the power of x is equal to 50. So to first start with this problem, let's test different values of x. So if x is one, then I get five to the power of one, which is equal to five, and this is too low. Now if, it's, if x equals two, I get five to the power of two, which is 25, and this again is too low. Now if x equals three, then I have five to the power of three, which is 125, and this is way too high. So we know that the value of x is gonna be somewhere in between two and three, meaning it's gonna be a decimal. So how are we gonna find the exact value of x? Well, to start, we're gonna be using logarithms. So I'm gonna take the log on both sides, so I get log phi to the power of x is equal to log 50. And the reason I'm doing this is because logarithms come with a special property that state that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move the exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. So in this case, I have log phi to the power of x, and we can think of x as b, and I can move this x to the front. So now, I get x times log five is equal to log 50. And now remember, we wanna find the value of x, so all we have to do to do that is to get rid of this log five by dividing both sides by log five. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 50 over log 5. And now, let's simplify this a little to get the exact decimal value. So log 50 is the same thing as log of 10 times 5. And another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So now this turns into log 10 plus log 5 over log 5, which is the same thing as log 10 over log 5 plus log five over log five, which is just one. And log 10 is also equal to one. So I get x equals one over log five plus one. So now all that's left to do is do one divided by log five in my calculator. So I get x is equal to 1.431 one plus one which is equal to 2.431. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to eight. So at first glance, this problem may look challenging. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I get ln x to the power of x is equal to ln 8. And a helpful property that comes with logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent to the front, so this turns into L b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I get x times ln x is equal to ln 8. Now from here, I'm gonna use another formula that states that if I have something in the form w of a times e to the power of a, this is equal to a. And this is something known as the W Lambert formula. So if I take the w of something in the form a times e to the power of a, it's gonna equal a. So, In this case, I'm gonna rewrite this 
as ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 8 because x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x. So now I can use this formula. So I'm going to take the w on both sides. So I have w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to what I have to do on one side, I have to do the other side. So I w of ln 8. And this simply turns into e to the power of ln x is equal to, or sorry, ln x is equal to w of ln 8. And then now I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. So I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8. And e and ln cancel out. So I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8. So this is my value of x. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends and family members. And I have a lot of problems like these on my channel, so please make sure to go ahead and check them out. Thank you guys for watching.